have to go on how to send the ballots out. Um, the first way is one vote per property owned or one vote per property owner. I'd like to see hands of the board members on one vote per property. I guess we don't have to do the other one. Yes. So it will be one vote per property owned. And Gina, you want to tell everybody um, how votes will be controlled so we, everyone knows that we're not <coughs> doing anything that we shouldn't be doing. On the bottom of the letter, it says in favor and not in favor, and underneath that it says ballot ID. Everyone's parcel ID will be put under the ballot ID and it will be on a crimped raised seal. So that way nobody can make photocopies. If we don't have the crimped seal, it will not be counted. And uh, that way, and when the votes come in, it says on the envelope that is a ballot enclosed. They're going to be put in a box in our vault and they're all going to stay there until the day, whatever day that we find out that it's coming back and then they'll all be opened at that time and we'll find out who's in favor and who's not and make sure that they're all with race seal. If they're not race seal, it will not count. Yes? Is, is the ballot going out to owners of each property by, if they own more than one lot, do they get more than one ballot? Yes. So, for each parcel owned. For each parcel owned. So, Somebody with a lot of parcels gets many votes, and somebody with one gets one vote. Correct? Why don't you Why don't you do it per resident? They get one resident to get one vote each. Because this is the way the board decided to do it. Yes. But as I understand it, what you're saying is that if somebody owns 25 acre parcels, they get 20 votes, and if somebody owns a thousand acres. They get one vote. No, it's one parcel per parcel. It's not 25 acres, 25 votes. But if somebody owns 20 parcels that are each five acres, then they get 20 votes, correct? That's correct. And if another person owns 1,000 or 2,000 acres, but it's a single parcel, they only get one vote. Is that correct? That's correct. Does that seem to give? Well, it's either do it that way or do it per property owner. And we have some properties that are owned by eight to ten people, and it is impossible to send out ballots to those people. But why not simply have a vote the same way we vote for senators and congressmen? Because this is the way we chose to do it. 